Hello, everyone. I'm Christy Risk, Senior Editor at Genome Web, and I'll be your moderator today. The title of today's session is Critical Raw Material for mRNA-Based Vaccine Development. This EK study will start with a brief presentation and will follow up with a Q&A discussion with our panelists. Our panelist today is An Kocheva, Product Manager at Thermo Fisher Scientific. Mr. Kocheva will be speaking about the quality requirements for critical raw materials for commercial mRNA production and Thermo Fisher's offerings that support the mRNA vaccine development process. Special thanks to our sponsor, Thermo Fisher Scientific, for making this presentation possible. Mr. Kocheva, please go ahead. Hi, Christine. Thank you for having me. So I'm Andrew Kocheva, and I'll shortly present our solutions for critical raw materials used for messenger RNA-based vaccine development. As a global leader, many steps to succeed in all of them and reach a goal of high quality effective vaccine. It needs high quality raw materials in all of these steps, whether it is discovering the best candidates for your program, doing preclinical in vitro or in vivo studies, and as well, in developing manufacturing process or even clinical trials themselves. Scientific has a broad portfolio of products that supports the entire messenger RNA vaccine development cycle. Full solutions and standalone products are available for template preparation, mRNA synthesis, mRNA purification, and as well as vaccine formulation and delivery. In today's presentation, I will be focusing on the mRNA synthesis step enzymes and supporting molecules that are used here. If you have any additional questions on this or any different stages, feel free to contact me or our company for any further information. Here you can see a simplified manufacturing process of mRNA vaccine. It starts once a matrix plasmid is cut using our wide selection of restriction enzymes and exposing the T7 promoter and gene of interest. Following this is the in vitro transcription reaction, where the mRNA molecule itself is synthesized. The four main components here are T7 RNA polymerase, RNAs inhibitor, inorganic pyrophosphatase, and NTP. Once these are combined, mRNA molecule with the target gene is transcribed. Following this is the DNA template removal using DNAs one enzyme. If the post-transcriptional capping process is selected, during the next step, mRNA is capped using capping enzyme and 2'-O methyltransferase. Polyadenylic tail is added using poly A polymerase. Both of these steps are needed for stable and active mRNA molecule. Here, our main component of the vaccine is complete, and mRNA purification and formulation steps follows before the vaccine is ready for use in patients. So a product is of the highest quality, three topics has to be mentioned. Product design, quality control, and manufacturing setup. All of our in vitro transcription enzymes are animal origin and beta-lactam free. All the necessary components can be acquired together with possibilities of customization according to the customer need. Supporting molecules like NTPs and modified NTPs CAP analogs are also available in multiple forms and formats that allow customers to use them easily and apply them to the current process. All manufacturing is done under ISO 13485 and ISO 9001 certified quality management system. Tailored QC tests are used for endotoxin, ribo, endo, and exonucleases, as well as functional and product-specific testing to ensure that products are made of the highest quality. All products are manufactured in state-of-the-art clean rooms with the ability to scale and custom formulate, fill, or package. For animal origin and beta-lactam-free products is that they reduce the risk of ASA or BSA transmission. The risk of viral agent transmission, as well as any antibiotic-related allergic reactions, are also reduced to minimum, ensuring that final vaccine is safe to use for patients. 
Both of these increase the safety of the final product and ease the strict regulatory approvals and risk assessments needed for the release of new products. As the supplier of raw materials for therapeutic applications, our company can ensure and provide all necessary documentation to support these claims. Our manufacturing site is open for audits from our customers, so you can come and see this yourself. As possible, conventional manufacturing process was reviewed and all of the animal origin materials were removed. Our manufacturing process is free of bacterial peptone and beta-lactam antibiotics in fermentation steps. Heparin sepharol substrate is not used during purification and no animal origin bovine serum albumin is used for final product formulation. With combination of controlled environment and dedicated equipment, we can ensure our product is safe to use and for the manufacturing of active pharmaceutical ingredients. Stringent quality control is used for all enzymes we manufacture. We constantly control endo and exonucleases, monitor endotoxin and microbial contamination. No RNases can be detected in our products, so they are a great fit for use when working with RNA molecules. We strive for the highest purity product, so control of protein concentration and purity is a must. All products undergo specific activity and functional testing to confirm compliance to the necessary specification. We have developed a functional qPCR assay to enable detection of many quantities of contaminating DNA and RNA. Any remaining amounts of these impurities could inter interfere with further process in this specific workflow. Thus, extra precautions are taken, taken during manufacturing, as well as stringent testing is done to confirm. In my opinion, the most important molecule in in vitro transcription reaction is nucleoside triphosphate. This is the starting material and building block of the messenger RNA. Our high-performing NTPs and modified NTPs has purity over 99% confirmed by HPLC. Extensive research was done to identify and quantify any impurities in this product, ensuring no critical compounds are found. These products have no biological contaminants, thus are safe to use in vivo. Shelf life of 36 months is available along all the options mentioned before, like custom quality controls for custom formulation and filling sizes. And to confirm all of the all of our in vitro transcription products used in this process are compliant with the aforementioned specifications. These products are marked with our TerraPure grade name. Here you can see a full list of products available for this stage of the process. The TerraPure grade is available only for the products of highest quality that were designed with therapeutic application in mind and passed our stringent quality control process. With this, I will conclude my short presentation, Christy. I'm open for any questions if there are any. Great, thank you, Andrus. Uh, let's start the, um, the So the first question is, do you have any data on critical impurities in NTPs? Yes, our company has done an extensive study on quantifying and identifying the impurities in NTPs, and we appear to be ahead of the competition on this. Multiple methods like mass spectrometry, and enzymatic applications were used, and we are happy con to confirm that no critical impurities are found in our product. And do you offer any modified NTPs? Yes, we have already provided a number of modified NTPs to various customers, and we continue to look to widen our offering. And your AOF enzymes for the in vitro transcription process do you also offer AOF restriction enzymes for the preparation of DNA templates for in vitro transcription? Yes, Thermo Fisher Scientific has already developed one and is currently working on a second one to be available shortly. Restriction enzymes are a huge family of enzymes, but with our technology, most of these enzymes can be made in animal origin free form. And then finally, do you offer any DNases with improved activity? Yes, we have already developed a DNAs one variant that is superior to the native form and is currently being trialed by our customers. Keep an eye out for the launch of this product or let us know if you would like to test it now. 
Great. Thank you. We'll wrap it up there. I'd like to thank our panelists, Andrus Kocheva, and our sponsor, Thermo Fisher Scientific. Thank you all for joining us for this session.